Rusty Stainless here. I just want to talk to you about enlarger lenses. Maybe you're thinking you're getting one as part of your hobby of the old legacy lenses. Well, if you're like me, you ran into a big problem because you're a bit of a dumb dumb and you didn't know that that these enlarger lenses can't focus themselves. I've got mine on my GH2 Panasonic. Of course, you can put them on to just about any camera with the right adapter. So let me sit down with you and go through the bits that you need to make this work. And when they work, well, it is bloody fun, I know that. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so what we've got here is the GH2 with the enlarger lens at the front, a 42 to M42 to M42 focusing helicoid ring it's called that's the bit that makes the lens move in and out and at the back here is the uh, GH2 uh, to M42 adapter ring now let's take them off just have a look at these bits separately Oh, I forgot to mention that because this is M39, there's an M39, M42 little ring adapter in here. So let's just put the lens there. It's a bit hard to get this one out now. Out he comes. Now that's that little ring. Whoops, that easy. Uh, so there's another M39 and larger lens. Let's take this off here. So there's the three key bits. If you're using an M42 and larger lens, then you don't need this obviously. Now, here's the trick. So you've got to get this part here. This is uh, the helicoid. Uh, there are two types of this. There's a M30, uh, an M42 to M39 version, which is very expensive, or twice the price at least of this one. This is the M42 to M42, and cheaper to buy this for less than $2. Now here's the other trick in putting this all together. The first time I started, I tried to use this part and it's labelled as an M42 to micro four thirds. And yes, it is suitable if you're using other legacy M42 lenses, like, you know, sticking this in here and sticking it on. Yes, that's all good. And this is cheap. I thought I was getting away cheap. But this piece here, and it wasn't easy to find on eBay, there was only one supplier, and I'll uh, put the link down in the text below. Um, but this is the Micro Four Third to M42 Plus. As a bonus, it's got C-mount as well inside, so um, if you want to dabble in C-mount lenses as well, then this is a real beauty. Um, with that one on, that distance there was too great, which meant this was suddenly putting this out of focusing range. So I, I regret buying this bit here. There, there was no need for that. I do just want to clarify something I just said then about the um, I regret buying this. What I should say should have said was that these two go together. That that combination that works. If you try to put that, these two together, that doesn't work. So I don't want people to uh, think that this, uh, that you don't need this. If you want to dabble in M42 uh, lenses, regular style lenses, then you do need this piece here. Look for a thin one. Maybe it doesn't do uh, seam out, maybe it's just the 
uh, micro four third to M42 that's fine get your helicoid focusing ring M42 to M42 get your little um, spacer ring I'll call that it's easier to actually put that one on here first and screw it into there up to it feels tight so let's change your aperture there got a red dot on it it has so we just red dot to red dot and there you go without that bit there you can't take photos this doesn't focus by itself get get the right adapter for your camera so uh, whether you've got a Canon or a uh, maybe a, a, an Olympus or something get your helicoid focusing ring and start looking f for some larger lenses and off you go, have some fun